ACAP is a self-funded center dedicated to the study of anti-counterfeiting and product protection. And what that basically means is understanding the counterfeiting of goods and services such as electronics, pharmaceuticals, apparel, whatever it may be, and then response efforts from both industry and government. Corporate Connections has been huge for the development of the center and the product counterfeiting research here at the university. The center was initially created to help serve as a resource for industry and so it was always designed to have a close connection with industry and as the center developed creating the industry advisory board was the single greatest factor that helped to influence the development of the center. We brought industry in as a close partnership and we shared ideas and we learned the kinds of things that were keeping them up at night and we you know, could talk to them about science and, you know, how research can help what they're doing. And so through their support and knowledge and contacts, we were able to, you know, develop projects that created practical implications that they could then implement. And so it was really a tremendous partnership. And we're grateful for the recognition of the Innovation Center. I mean, the award goes to ACAP. It doesn't go to any one individual. There are a number of individuals who've made this happen, both past and present, who have worked at ACAP too created that engagement with corporate entities and government as well as the research that's been produced. And I think it's also recognition of our corporate partners. We would not exist without our corporate partners. The support, the information, the insight that they provide us allows us to exist. I'm originally from the North of Ireland, from Antrim County. We have an Antrim County here in Michigan also. I, um, I uh, came to the U.S. to study my, for my doctoral degree at the University of Wisconsin and had an opportunity then to first start working with beans. So then I, at Wisconsin I started working on uh, quality aspects of beans. I, I had an opportunity to uh, work overseas as part of my doctoral dissertation, and so I spent a couple of years in Columbia. I, when I graduated I joined a private company, the Campbell Soup Company. Uh, so I worked with them for about five years before coming to Michigan State and uh, joining the, the bean breeding program here at Michigan State in 1980. Uh, this was the, actually the oldest breeding program at Michigan State. It was one of the very first breeding programs established here in the early 1900s. When we eventually release a variety through the various channels here at Michigan State University, it's important then to see that the variety gets commercialized and uh, then that's where we work very closely with uh, MSU Technologies. They're the licensing arm of the new varieties. So uh, as important, I feel that's as important as developing varieties is also getting them out in the marketplace. I've enjoyed my work very much here at Michigan State. I've, I've appreciated very much the opportunity that my department here, the Plant and Soil and Microbial Science Department has afforded me to be, to work in an area that I'm very interested in. But to see then some of the work that I've been able to achieve uh, be recognized at this level by, as an Innovation Tech Transfer Award uh, is very humbling and, and, and I'm deeply honored. Back in 2017 summer, uh, NSF uh, hosted a international or global competition looking for a smart version of uh, hearing aid. So my students and I participated in this competition and luckily we won the third place of the competition. This is where everything started. To develop uh, the smart version of hearing aid, we need, really need to address two key challenges. I think the first challenge is really how to effectively uh, filter out the ambient noises while maintaining the sound you are really interested listening to. In many cases, those ambient noises are also um, from humans, right? So we come up with a machine learning te technique, uh, you know, which is artificial intelligence technique to achieve this. Basically, this artificial intelligence technology uh, can smartly identify the sounds from your friends by tracking the unique um, characteristics of the sounds uh, from your friend. And if the, the characteristic from the ambient do not match with your friend's characteristic, you know, the smart hearing aid will remove them uh, in a fast enough way. I, I feel very honored and very proud to win this uh, as assistant professor in College of Engineering. So 
I'm excited and wanted to share this great news with my families and with my students and also with my collaborators and obviously the people working in the Innovation Center who nominated me and who, who saw me achieve this success. I grew up in a farm, on a farm in Italy. Um, my father was in the Navy, my mom was an archaeologist, so completely different fields. But by living in a farm, I was always, I've always been fascinating, fascinated by the ability of organisms to thrive in sometimes in not very favorable conditions. And this was ranging from animals to plants. I thought maybe if you can understand the basic principles, we can use knowledge uh, to improve the organisms. We have been developing techniques that can modify the activity of the secretory organelles and improve plant performance in the field. And so we are now developing crops that are uh, bigger than the wild type counterpart and that also are more digestible. And this can impact not only the biofuel arena, can also impact the production of feed. I'm passionate about what I do because it gives me the opportunity to interact with people that have energy and enthusiasm. And with whom I share the same passion about the possibility to improve the world in the future. And I'm passionate about what I do because it allows me to study and continue to improve uh, myself and uh, the environment that surrounds me.